Once you start using your phone as a magnifying glass to read labels or as a flashlight to see the dinner menu, well, you've probably also noticed a lot of this. That's because dry, irritated eyes is one of the challenges of aging. In fact, it can be a symptom of menopause. It affects our whole body. Our eyes are no exception. It's all connected. And when it comes to dry eyes, in the eyelids are what are called meibomian glands, and they produce the oil for the tear film. They are driven by sex hormones. When Dr. Kimberly Reardon, a Florida eye specialist, joined us on the Uncluttered and Unfiltered podcast, she explained that while dry eyes may be inevitable, there are a number of ways to combat them like limiting screen time on your computer or your phone or taking a lot of breaks, avoiding invasive makeup practices like tight lining, staying well hydrated. She also told us about different drops and procedures that can help, including microblepharoexfoliation, which is a big term for basically cleaning the eyelids. What it's gonna do um, is help exfoliate, clean away normal bacteria buildup, makeup, we think we get it all off. Be will be amazed that sometimes you look at the tips like, oh, that's there's makeup on there. Christine was all in and immediately made an appointment. So it helps to clean away, but also really exfoliating the opening of the meibomian glands, which are those oil glands, like we talked about so much on the podcast, which are vital. So this is kind of step one in treatment. By the way, I probably have 30 years of makeup built up in there. Um, so I'm excited to try it. I'm hopeful. So here we are in San Marco. Now, I don't always pop in on my friend's doctor's appointments, but when I do, I bring a camera crew. Can they do a neck lift at the same time? <laughs> are you doing okay? Some yeah, it absence? tickles. I know, and when I get oh towards the God. nose. It's so it, tickly. You're doing great. I know it doesn't feel like it, but you're doing great. When we have really bad blepharitis, we can see a lot of buildup at the base of the lashes, and that's where I can literally see chunks of stuff coming yeah. off. But you are not that bad, so I don't okay. see that. <laughs> even so far, just did the upper, and you can see see some like makeup yeah. on there, even yeah. though. Mm -hmm. even though I thought I got it all even off. Even though I thought. Now let's see what it looks like after we do the lower. Okay, ones. it tickles, and like I do feel like when I blink, it feels better. Yeah, I have patients say that their eyes feel lighter. So now I'm just gonna go across the lower lids, and what I'm doing is just kind of pushing gently and seeing what's coming out of the meibomian glands here. We know that dry eyes is very prevalent and very common in women over 50. What I wanna let you know is you don't have to suffer. It's not something that's normal that you just push through. If you're having symptoms, reach out to your eye care professional or a dry eye specialist because there's a plethora of treatment options out there. We just have to find out what works for you and really what's the root cause of your dryness. You can find our full episode with Dr. Reardon at unclutteredandunfiltered.com.